Hello, my name is Christy Landwehr, and this is a safety tip brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association. Today I'm at Colorado State University in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I'm very happy to have my horse here, Willow, and she is a Czech warm blood. We're going to talk today about clipping. You know, do you have to clip your horse? The answer is no, you absolutely do not have to clip your horse. However, every now and then you're gonna find that you might have to, for horse shows, you might have to just because, well, maybe it has a lot of mane and you'd really like a bridle path for that halter to lay or that bridle to lay. So we're gonna have a conversation about how to do that safely and effectively. So first of all, we're gonna go and approach Willow and let Willow know that we're gonna be doing something with her today that requires her not to pull back or get frightened or afraid. Very not a good idea to try to clip horses that are tied because they, that could upset them. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna untie her. You can either leave it in the ring like this, you can go ahead and put the rope over her neck. There's a variety of different ways that you can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the rope entirely out and like this, put it over her neck like so, just to get it up and out of the way. This way I still have an opportunity to hold her if I need to. Now my clippers today are right here. I'm gonna go ahead, this mare has actually been clipped a lot, but we're still gonna go ahead and go like this, turn them on, she already wants to check them out. Horses have a seeking nature, they're very curious, so she wants to check it out. So we're gonna start by going ahead and clipping her muzzle. Now a couple of things about the whiskers on a muzzle. They're how the horse feels things and senses things. So again, if you're not gonna go to a horse show and it doesn't require you to clip her really close, don't. But if you wanna clean her up a little bit like we're gonna do today, you go ahead and I'm gonna grab right here on the halter, knowing that if she starts to pull, I'm gonna let go because I don't wanna get stuck within there. But I am gonna hold her right here just so we can go ahead and have a little bit of control over her. And you notice I'm not gonna clip all of the whiskers off. I'm only gonna go ahead and go a little bit towards her muzzle so that she still has these whiskers for protection and she can still go ahead and feel things because we're not gonna go to a horse show anytime soon. So this kind of gives you an example of just how to go around very gently and safely. Obviously she doesn't care. Sometimes the horses are gonna mind the vibration, not the sound. So when you first do it, that might be an issue. You can go around by her lips, underneath by her chin groove, over here by her nostril. And you're kind of going with the lay of the hair, not against it, as we clip her. So now we're gonna talk about how to clip the bridle path. The bridle path goes from right behind the horse's forelock back to the point on the mane where you want to go ahead and go back. Now on some breeds, such as the Arabian, you go back quite far because you want to show off the graceful arch of the neck and that's actually how you clip them from horse shows. But for most horses, um, so for this one, for being a warm blood and also for your stock breeds, quarter horses and things, you only need just a little one. So that way you can have an opportunity just to let the halter or the bridle lay calmly against it. Now if your horse is wonderful like Miss Willow here, what I like to do is I go ahead and just put the halter around her neck. And that way I still have control over her at any time. I can still hold her nose, do what I need to do, but she's still technically caught. So now we'll turn it on again. I put my hand over the bridge of her nose just to make sure she doesn't lift her head. Sometimes you can tape the forelock, put tape here in case you don't want to accidentally clip it off. That would be a bad thing to do. But we're gonna go ahead because I can see I'm pretty tall with this mare. And we're just gonna go ahead and go right here in between her ears, get some of that off. And then we're just gonna go back a little bit and just make a little tiny bit, it's all right girl, little tiny bit of a bridle path. And again, we're not clipping for show. I'm not gonna be very fussy about it. I'm not gonna make it perfect. I'm just gonna make it where we have a nice place to rest the bridle or the halter. Now obviously not all horses are going to like being up next to their ears. So I go ahead and practice that first. Make sure you can touch your horse up here, no problem. Make sure that if you put the clippers up when they are not going on, make sure when the buzz starts, make sure with the vibration that you're out of the way. Because if she does lift her head quickly, you'll want to be sure to be able to step back, still hold her, but not get in the way of her head. So a couple things about clipper maintenance. First of all, there are many different sizes of blades. This happens to be a size 10. The larger the number, the more surgical the clip. So a size 40 is gonna be for getting in there if you have a wound you need to clean up, things like that. Don't use those for every day or your horse will not have much hair in that location. But when you go to like a 10 or a 15, things like that, that's for kind of day-to-day -day clipping. And we're obviously not gonna talk about body clip and things like that today, just kind of the basics, again, of the muzzle and the bridle path. 
Now, as far as clipper maintenance, you want to make sure to put oil on your clippers. Um, it's very good. You can normally buy the oil directly with wherever you buy the clippers. And you also want to do a blade wash. You can actually put these inside a wash. Make sure to do that. And there's a thing called Cool Lube. I love Cool Lube. You can spray it on the clippers if they get warm while you're working with them. Then it won't be warm on your horse and it also won't be warm on your hands. You can also spray it in all these crevices here to be able to get all of the hair out that might be stuck. So those are some kind of basic safety mechanisms. And then I think a big one that a lot of times people forget is this cord. Over time, the cord will crack and break and have a lot of issues. So it's a really good idea when you go to wrap up your cord, you can wrap it around your clippers, but don't wrap it incredibly tight and snug, because that'll cause it to crack over time. Have it be more loose, and then keep the whole thing in some sort of a protective bag, be it a Ziploc bag or a cloth bag, and don't keep it in your tack room where the temperature ranges from really hot to really cold. Keep it in your house somewhere where it's kind of room temperature.